Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Silver Rep Boy CLE. How are you guys doing, YouTube? That's right, Silver Rep Boy coming at you live, looking fresh in the flesh on the next on stream. And welcome to Twitter Q and A number two. Now, the topic for this Twitter Q and A was the 2K milestone. It doesn't necessarily have your questions. Doesn't necessarily have to be something pertaining to the milestone that I reached recently, which was 2,000 subscribers. I reached the milestone like a few weeks ago, I would say. Yeah, I think that's right. And a lot of you guys, now a few of you guys have been submitting me your questions and I even asked other people on Twitter would they like to join my Twitter Q&A and they said they did but unfortunately they haven't but there's always a next time so that's okay. Thank you for trying guys for those who, some, who decided to join the Q&A but couldn't manage to do so. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and pull up these Twitter questions and I'll see what I can answer. Okay, so the first question comes from... One of my favorite YouTubers who recently reached over 20k subscribers on his YouTube channel based on this awesome YouTube content, and that is Last Living Human, and he also won a shout out competition. Sorry about that, guys. Phone ringing, but <clears throat> regardless, um, he recently reached 20k subscribers on his YouTube channel, and of course, he won a shout out competition from yesterday. So, without further ado, I'm gonna like to. Uh, Congratulate Last Living Human once again for reaching such a huge milestone. I really wish I was on your your level of subscriber count, but anyway, I'll get there in the future, like you said. Okay, so his question was, what do you use to edit videos? And I would say that's a very great question, Last Living Human. I, well, prior to when I used the most legitimate one that, that I'll get to in just a minute. But the first one I used, ever since I had this laptop, I used the basic Windows 8 version of Windows Movie Maker. And of course, some of the features were a little okay, I would say, but hey, I made it right. But um, there are a lot of stuff that I wanted to do, like how most professional YouTubers do when it comes to doing voiceovers or scenes while they're doing the narrations and whatnot. So there's a lot of practices. There are a lot of practices you have to perform when it comes to doing stuff like this for those who use Windows Movie Maker. But I recommend going for a different video editor because, well, you know, like higher video editors, like. Sony Vegas, which I do not have. I tried getting one before, but there's a lot you have to do on when it comes to the installation and stuff like that. So I decided to scratch that off. And now it came to the point where I decided to use one of my favorite video editors in the whole entire century. And that is called Wondershare. That's the video editor I'm using right now because as you can see, I used the text effect, the sparkling effect, the pixie dust effect, and displaying the word Wondershare because I love the software, I love the text fonts, I love a lot of stuff they have on the video editor because man, there's a lot you can actually do with the thing because when I first used Wondershare, I thought it was kind of perplexing and of course intense based on its features, but after getting used to Wondershare though, it's actually pretty legitimate for most people, for one who for those who want to do voiceovers and whatnot, tons of crazy effects, that's something that Windows Movie Maker did not have on the Windows 8 version. but. You know what though? I actually love Wondershare. Wondershare should be installed on Wondershare or Sony Vegas should be installed on every laptop, whether it's new or old. Because well, both Sony Vegas and Wondershare are both the same thing. But when it comes to doing tons of more things, I'm thinking that Sony Vegas has more compared to Wondershare. But Wondershare is very awesome. I love Wondershare. I love its color whenever you open it. And of course, go to the main interface when it comes to editing videos and whatnot. You know, like add clips and of course add sound effects. And another crazy thing about it is that you can actually change your voice. Let's say that you record a voice, an alien voice, you try to sound like an alien. You, you have, have to have, have like, a clip. You have to detach the audio, copy and replace the clip, and then change the audio clip or the detached audio that you detached. Change the tone of it, and hey, you got your alien voice. <laughs> but anyway, Wanda Share is one of my favorite video editors. Thank you, Last Living Human, for joining me on my Twitter Q&A, and thank you for congratulating me on my 2K milestone. You really are awesome. And when it comes to collaboration, hook me up, man. <laughs> okay, and the last question comes from Jeff. And he asked me, why did you start YouTube? And I love all your videos. First and foremost, Jeff, thank you very much for the last part of your question. And regarding why I started YouTube, it started in 2010. Well, usually I would go to YouTube all the time to, to uh, watch tons of videos like gaming videos, Red Rock videos, etc., etc., etc. And of course, my big sister taught me into um, making a YouTube profile. And I got my own YouTube profile, and of course, I started uploading some old school videos. Not like, well, some of them were actually old school, 
I'm talking about like the videos that I record from different softwares. Like, say for instance that I recorded some gameplay on my Super NES emulator. I use that to record F Zero gameplays and of course other gameplays into the emulator as well. And when it comes to making music videos, I use um, Pretty Loop Studio software that she introduced me to and that I still love to the fullest because I got a lot better using Pretty Loop Studio because a lot of you guys have been listening to my remixes and of course you guys have been very thrilled and I've been getting tons of awesome receptions from many people on YouTube pertaining to my music that I make for them to listen to. And of course, I uh, use Windows Movie Maker to make the video and of course uh, upload it to YouTube. I haven't been very interested in doing vlogs since then. I know most people do vlogs for tons of receptions and whatnot. I started vlogging since um, either 2012 or 2013. I don't remember what year I uh, started vlogging. I, the first vlog I did was when I talked about Blaze Blue Continuum Shift Extend. The PC game that's coming out that came out and that was when Christmas almost came and when I got my camcorder for the first time that's when I did my third vlog talking about Nintendo Wi-Fi and stuff and of course I got somewhat comfortable in a bit um I don't know what other word I'm intending to say that but anyway I gotten a lot more comfortable doing some vlogs for you guys and of course you guys enjoy them to the fullest even though there's no receptions like no views no likes and of course no comments and whatnot but I still keep going to the fullest I'm mean, gonna keep going no matter what and you guys know how I roll when it comes to YouTube and after hearing so many things about YouTube like how people earn tons of YouTube revenue and of course earn YouTube accolades like the silver play button the golden play button and of course the crown favorites the Diamond play button. The following Q&A video was brought to you in part by Sora Plus CLB. Please subscribe to Sora Plus CLB for more YouTube content. Also, please accommodate him to give it to 100,000 Red Plus to do a very special video for all. Speaking of which, Markiplier earned it, and he he's freaking awesome. Markiplier is freaking awesome. And most YouTube channels are my motivation and inspiration to do tons of videos do tons of professional videos like I'm doing right now, you know, like using open broadcasting software and of course laying out different effects and whatnot, and of course, doing After Effects. Speaking of After Effects, I'm thinking about doing some in the future, I don't know when, but hopefully there will come a time when I get back to doing some After Effects videos, you know, like skits and whatnot, but hopefully they'll come in the future. But regardless, after hearing so much about that, that's when I started to find tons of software, and of course, getting tons of these equipments, like the mounts, like the mouse, and of course, my HD 1080 camera that I got from Best Buy. The one compared to the one I have down there. I'm too late to get it. But anyway, I even have my uh, gaming controller and of course gaming keyboard. A lot of things pertain to gaming and of course doing tons of YouTube videos on my laptop. Like how most people do. Now, you might ask me what I go for like a Blue Wing microphone. You know, like a professional studio microphone. And my answer would be, I probably wouldn't because, well, one thing for certain, it's all in the headset because you have the headsets plus the professional microphone that people use when it comes to their videos like gaming and live streaming and whatnot. You have the audio clearance because it has a USB compatible. These headsets are very awesome. The Logitech G430 headset that I got from Best Buy. But these are the new ones because for those who hadn't noticed recently I got a spare one because I contacted technical support to get me squared away with the new pair because the one I had was kind of messed up needless to say but yeah these headsets are very these surround headsets are very high quality headsets because their surround sounds you can it's like you're actually let's say that you watch a video a concert video it's like you're actually inside the video watching this person do activities to amuse the audience and these headsets Compared to speakers are freaking freaking awesome because the audio the audio quality I have compared to my headsets on my laptop uh, the audio quality on my laptop is suckish it's real tech but it's kind of chug like most laptops do but not the uh, other laptop that I have that still works it's AC only laptop needs to say but anyway I love these headsets I wouldn't want to go for a microphone because they're very expensive not not that they're they're expensive because well. This headset here actually has the quality of the microphone there is. Like you can actually hear 
the microphone feature on this microphone stick on my headset and it records very legitimately well and I love this headset that's why I decided not to go for a microphone because I'm thinking this might be enough for me now regarding um, my YouTube channel however my YouTube channel used to be called Corey 6496 but after getting back to doing tons of more videos for you guys I decided to change my YouTube name and I know when it comes to changing your YouTube name you might not manage to get a verification badge to tell people that you're you've been verified and that you're the real channel that was there prior to when fake channels come though I'm not I don't think there will be any fake channel pertaining to me in the future hopefully it, there won't be any but uh, if there is Reploids hopefully you guys will stick to me because you already know how many subscribers I got you already know how many views I got you already know how many how much popularity I've gained ever since I've been on this channel six years ago and yeah I just freaking love you guys to the fullest I love how you guys would stick to me and of course be there for me when it comes to tons of videos and of course updates and whatnot whatever happens to me and like I said I'm a very generous youtuber and I never give my give up my word pertaining to that and you already know how long I've been tied to this for a long long time and I'm never stopping so yeah I would think that concludes the Twitter Q&A for now this is a this was supposed to be a 2k milestone special after I got done with my 2k milestone I decided to do the Twitter Q&A but I know for some reason I might not get a lot of people but hopefully on the next Twitter q and I'll get tons more people who join my Twitter Q&A and I might provide a better topic for you guys so that you can submit me your questions and whatnot. It might be like musical or whatever. Vlogging, I might, I'll think of something on the next Twitter Q&A. So for now, I hope you guys enjoy watching this to the fullest and thank those who submitted me your questions for this Twitter Q&A and thank those who decided to join a Q&A but couldn't manage to do so. I really appreciate you guys for trying to uh, get a chance to come to my Q&A video. So hopefully in the next Twitter Q&A, I'll get tons more people to submit, submit me their Twitter questions like how most people do on YouTube. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy watching this to the fullest and make sure you check out my other videos and other content on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Don't forget to follow me on Google Plus and Twitter in the description. Don't forget to join my community in the description. Don't forget to share because you care. Like, comment, favorite, like this video, the thumbs up button because it keeps me going and motivated to do more because I love YouTube and you reploids to the fullest as well. More videos to come soon. This is a reploid CLE. I love reploids to the fullest. I will see you guys in the next video.